I was sick last week, and uh, so sick I actually had to miss a day of work. Uh, I guess I had the flu. Um, you know, I had aches and pains and uh, chills and a little bit of a fever, a little cough, uh, upset stomach, you know. Um, although my symptoms, my symptoms weren't real bad, uh, my biggest problem was I had just the m most monstrous headache. Uh, but uh, it was bad enough that I had to miss a day of work. Um, so that begs the question, you know, what do you do when you're sick and you live in a van? So the, the day that I took a sick day from work, uh, I went into work and just decided I just didn't feel good enough uh, to work. And so, and as I was leaving, uh, one of my, uh, you know, buddies at work says uh, to me, you know, buddy, why, why don't you just, uh, why don't you just check into a hotel so that you can get some, some rest? Now, I didn't really respond to him when he said that because I was really kind of perplexed. You know, I think most people assume that I am uncomfortable in some way in the van. They think that maybe, you know, I don't have enough space or that my bed isn't comfortable, uh, whatever. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, and then, of course, I always assume that people just understand my point of view that I've spent a lot of time and effort uh, on making the van a home. And the van is really the most comfortable place for me. Uh, you know, the idea of putting a bunch of things together and checking into a hotel and then, uh, of course, having to then worry about checking out at uh, checkout time you know, to me, it just seems like a hassle, and I, I just wouldn't be comfortable uh, doing that. With that in mind, this is my home. Uh, this is where I feel the most comfortable. You know, uh, my home might be a little different than yours. You know, might be just a tad bit smaller than your house. Uh, maybe it's a slightly more movable than your house is. But this is my house. This is my home. This is where I feel the most comfortable. So. This is where I want to be when I don't feel well. Uh, so that's my first answer uh, to what do you do when you're sick and you live in a van. Uh, basically, you do the same thing you do if you live in a kind of a regular house. Uh, you know, you try to be as comfortable as you can be at home. Uh, and that's my second answer uh, is you, when you're sick, I think that you want to double down on being comfortable. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, I just tried to be as comfortable as I could be. Now, I'm fortunate that uh, a few months ago I bought a new heater, and this heater is great because on low, I can let it run, I can let it run all day and all night uh, without having any problems. So I mentioned that the worst part of, of my sickness was actually not really the flu symptoms that I had, uh, but the headache that I had. And I think the headache had started from some sinus congestion. Uh, so I, I cracked out a hot water bottle that I had bought some months back. Uh, and it was just a few dollars that I had bought at a discount store. Um, I was really happy I had this. Uh, I filled this up full of hot water and uh, just set it on my forehead uh, to try to help with some of that sinus congestion because I think that the sinus congestion was the start of my headache. Now I still took some aspirin to try to ease some of the uh, some of the headache, but uh, it was the hot water bottle that I used mostly to uh, kind of help with some of the pain from the headache. Uh, as soon as I felt good enough to drive, uh, I went and bought some cough drops. Um, these cough drops are the only cough drops I have ever had uh, that actually work. Most people that have tried these say that they don't like the flavor of them. Uh, <laughs> they are pretty strong and they are pretty green tasting. Uh, and I can't really explain that, uh, but if you do have a sore throat uh, and you can get to a health food store, uh, some Whole Foods carry these. Uh, most health food stores carry these. Uh, Old Bus is the brand and uh, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, but they actually do work if you can stand the flavor of them. I actually sort of like the flavor of them, uh, being the weirdo that I am. Uh, what I realized though later was that um, I think that the initial part of my headache was because of the sinus congestion, uh, but 
then I think I got uh, dehydrated and that was why I uh, continued to have the headache. I had a headache for uh, about four days straight, I think. And I just couldn't seem to drink enough water. Uh, now, I know most people would just go and buy Gatorade or Pedialyte. I can't uh, drink those. Uh, they have an ingredient that actually gives me a migraine. So uh, I knew I had to stay away from those. So when I do get dehydrated, I use coconut water. Now, if you're not used to coconut water, uh, you may not find it the most pleasant tasting thing. Uh, and I uh, have kind of learned to like it, uh, but uh, most of it, I think, has kind of a funny flavor. Um, I did find one brand that I really like, uh, which is this one, and it comes in a glass bottle, which is another thing that I like. Uh, but I really think that this brand, I never even remember the name of it. I just remember what the bottle looks like, but Taste Nirvana. Uh, this brand, I think, is the best tasting one that I've, I've come across. Uh, so I went and bought a few bottles of this. And uh, after drinking the coconut water, uh, that cleared up my headache. Now, since we're talking about comfort and being as comfortable as we could possibly be, uh, this is probably a good time just to mention uh, a small change that I've made to my bedding. Um, I was especially happy I'd, that I did this since I was spending so much time in bed when I was sick. Um, now, I, I should explain that I've, I've always used a, a sleeping bag uh, in the cold months uh, since I've been living in the van. And that decision goes way back long before I was living in a van, but back when I was just car camping uh, out of an old station wagon. Um, I just found that it was the warmest uh, possible way to sleep in cold weather. And I am always cold, uh, and I always sleep very cold. Um, the one issue that I've had, though, uh, with my sleeping bags lately uh, is that they have just been much too small. Uh, my first sleeping bag uh, was a big oversized sleeping bag and I found that to be really comfortable. Uh, you know, one, uh, it completely surrounded me. You know, my feet were completely surrounded. So I stayed warm, but I had plenty of room to toss and turn because I do a lot of tossing and turning. Uh, I found that bag to be very comfortable, uh, but that bag was very poorly made. Uh, I think I s bought it for less than $20, just to give you an idea of uh, just how poorly made it was. Um, and I've been looking for uh, a good quality bag to replace it uh, with. Now, I almost drove up to Cabela's uh, to buy a replacement uh, for that bag. Uh, they've got some really nice uh, oversized bags uh, that would have been great for me. Uh, the one issue with them is they are very pricey uh, so that just got me thinking i wonder if there's another way that i could go uh, that would be still be warm uh, but give me a, a much more kind of natural uh, kind of uh, sleeping position uh, instead of uh, going with another uh, sleeping bag that is just going to be too small uh, much like the coleman that i have uh, hanging up here uh, or the bag that I have been uh, using. So what I did was I went to Ikea and I, I actually just bought a comforter uh, and I bought a queen size comforter uh, because I thought that that would basically give me the same uh, wrap around effect as a, as a sleeping bag would. Uh, so I have, I have this queen size comforter and I've just got it kind of uh, basically shaped like a taco. So I'm, I'm basically the taco filling. Uh, and then the, the comforter is big enough to go uh, underneath me and then over top of me uh, as well. Now I found this comforter to be just as warm as any sleeping bag that I've ever had, uh, except for my feet. Uh, so I found just the way to combat that is I wear these big, heavy, uh, funny looking socks. Um, they're very thick, they're very fuzzy, and they actually keep my feet warm. So I didn't need to use these with a sleeping bag, uh, but I seem to need to use them now with the comforter. Um, but I'm okay with that because uh, I have a lot more room uh, to toss and turn uh, in. Now, if you notice, uh, the comforter 
isn't just a regular comforter. Uh, what I did uh, was I bought a, a duvet cover at Ikea uh, because they had a, a flannel a duvet cover. Now, if you're a guy like me, you're probably asking, what in the world is a duvet cover? Uh, now, I don't really have an answer for that, uh, <laughs> except that uh, it is basically just a big sheet that completely surrounds uh, a comforter. Uh, now, I like the idea of the duvet cover because uh, being that it was flannel, uh, it adds a little bit more warmth. And I'm always cold, so, you know, more warmth is good. Um, and the other thing is, is that uh, it keeps the comforter clean. So uh, I don't know if that's its regular intention, but uh, that's what I use it for, is that uh, this keeps the comforter clean. Um, I just, on laundry day, I just take the uh, comforter out, I wash the cover, uh, and then put it all back together again. Um, and I really like sleeping in flannel, so uh, it was kind of a nice find. And being that it was from Ikea, uh, it was fairly cheap. I think the comforter was about $30, and the duvet cover uh, with uh, two um, pillowcases was, I think, about $20 or $25. Uh, so that was a considerably less expensive than buying uh, a new... Uh, big oversized bag from, say, Cabela's, which was about $150 or $200, I think. Uh, so I've been kind of a happy sleeper lately, uh, being that I feel like I have uh, a much more uh, kind of natural sleeping position. Uh, I've got plenty of room to toss and turn, and uh, I am, you know, plenty warm. Uh, although I still, if you can see, I still keep a couple of blankets uh, up on top of of this comforter. It's not a real thick comforter, uh, but um, this way it gives me uh, a, a nice way that if it's a little bit warmer at, at night, I can just kind of toss back uh, the blankets and still have the warm comforter. Uh, on the colder nights, you know, I, I need all of them. Uh, and, you know, my, my sense of cold is probably a little different than yours. Uh, you know, basically, if it's 60 degrees, I, I need all of this. So being sick is no fun, but, uh, you know, I had things set up as comfortable as I could be. So I hope that gives you a little glimpse into uh, life in a van, being sick in a van. You know, it's really not much different than being sick in a house. Uh, you know, the difference is I'm just on wheels. That's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.